Just stop oil. A lot of people kind of agree with the, the mode that you're going for. We do want to reduce our emissions and try and improve the climate. We are heading that way. So in a, in a, in a nutshell, what is the point of well, just stopping? The thing is we're not heading that, that way. Well, we are. The UK government is issuing over 100 new oil licences. It's going in the complete opposite direction. Our demand is that the UK government halts all new future oil licences. So, it, it, but, but what we're facing now is a cost of living crisis. So, they're, 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 but they're, in they're the connect, middle... They're connected. They're two sides of the same coin. OK, but in the middle, we're facing a cost of living crisis. And whilst, you know, people are, feel that your aim is laudable, and a lot of people will feel that we want the planet to exist, and so on and so forth, uh, the bottom line is that people can't afford it right now. And... I mean, it's the cost of living. The new oil licences, these oil licences would be 10, but, 15, 20, but that's years enabling, in the future. But that's enabling the cost of fuel to remain at a good price that people can afford. No, no, it won't. It's a drop in the ocean. It won't happen. You can do uh, a re renewable energy. It's nine times cheaper. So we're talking about having bills that are £3,600 or bills that are £400. But you know that's, that's, that's the difference. But, but renewable energy at the moment is being subsidised, OK? So at the moment, it's quite cheap. Oil, oil is being subsidised by £236 million a week. The subsidies were cut in like 2016 for a lot of re renewables. And it's come out this week that if we would have kept with renewables. But we haven't, we didn't. We, you know, yeah, yeah, we would say five, go, we would say five but, but, billion but, pounds and we'd be less demanding. We wouldn't need 13% of our import from foreign energy. The only way the UK is going to get like security, energy security and cheap energy is if we issue renewables. OK, but, 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 but what we're doing here is arguing about um, how it will be done. But we all agree that we want more renewable energy. That is an agreed thing. So what's the point of gluing yourself or climbing up things to try and push that point ahead when most people would agree with the premise of it, but we realise it's going to take time for us to do that. And in the interim, we will need to use the oil and resources that we currently have. Well, we are saying we have eight years worth of licences. We have eight years of licence to use. We need to make a transition, but we need to make a transition now. People dread but, 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 but you're saying now, but you can't just do it now because we need to do it you're, gradually within a, a time limit no, that's no, affordable. The, the for oil, we have eight years, so that's why you make the tra transition now. The oil license they're doing now won't come to place for 25 years, some of them. That's like a generation. They're not needed. Well, let me People bring my panel in, because I've got Andrew Pierce with me and also Danny Kelly. Uh, Andrew, I'm going to start with you. I mean, he, he, he's talking about renewable licences and all the thing, and I'm literally saying that there's no point in what they're doing, because most people kind of agree with the aim, but it's the way you're going about it that yeah, they're, I, they're I, having I, a problem with. It's, look, it's noble aspirations, but my worry is that actually... You drive, you, you, you turn public opinion against you because you're stopping people getting about their ordinary work. People, you've, ambulances have been turned around, fire engines have been turned around. People who are self-employed can't get to work. It's causing huge disruption. You've got to take people with you, and you're not. You're alienating them. I understand, and I we absolutely but no, you don't because you keep doing it. No, we feel we have no choice. We absolutely hate disrupting people. No, you don't. We do. That's why you do it? No, we no, do. That's why you do it. It's, that's you do the it, only. You do it specifically to disrupt people. That's why you do it. It's the only thing that works. We come to the end of the well, line. Well, it doesn't work, though, does it? Because I, I, like, I, as I said, I find the aim laudable. I would actually go along with you. But if you stop me, and I had to say, my, like that man who had his wife in the car and she was very ill and needed to get to hospital, and the people on the road, I don't know whether I'd be able to not drive over you. And I wouldn't want to, but I was sorry. I'd look at my... Well, I, I, would, well, I, hope, no, but, I hope you wouldn't. No, well, I wouldn't want to, because you seem like a nice guy, but I'd look at my child or my person in the car and think... I'm sorry, but I know where my loyalty is like. And that's what we're worried about. People will do things they didn't want to do as a result of that. And it's not that they don't agree with you. It's just that mm. people will lose their rag, and that's not a good thing. Well, the, the, the truth is, people have tried. As long as I've been alive, people have been trying to get this sorted. We've known what's happened. The oil companies and governments have known what's happened. It's been a massive deception for my, my whole lifetime. And basically, everyone's tried everything. We've got to this point because nothing else Well, worked. you could try something different than that, Dave. Uh, I, I don't hate you. I've never met you, but I hate your actions. Uh, I think you should be thoroughly ashamed of yourselves on occasion. I was reading in the papers that potentially the disruption at the bridge caused massive tailbacks that caused a fatality, an accident, because the ambulance services couldn't get through. I think that your actions remind me of the 1980s, the David Koresh disciples, the Branch Davidians, the Waco siege. No, but can I just say it didn't cause a fatality, though, just so you know. Well, so the, the papers are speculating no, that, yeah, that yeah, the but ambulance could get that through. That's, because that's, I'm yeah, going to clear that up for you. Sure, but nevertheless... So, so, so we're just going to come back to the point that whilst a lot of people agree with you, 
the way you're doing it? Is there not a better way that you could do it to but get if, the right support and get the right thing if, behind you? If, get the everybody, if everybody agreed with our demand and the message... And no, not, every, not everybody could agree, no, but, but the majority probably no, do. But, but, no, but, no, but everyone that does agree, if everyone agrees, whoever agrees that we just end fossil fuels and we should transition now, if they come out en masse and peacefully demonstrated outside Westminster... This would end overnight. We would be able yeah, to but, make the transition. Yeah, but, but, but what you're asking, to be honest, is an unrealistic expectation for everybody to do that. But I respect what you are doing, but I just wish you'd do it in a different way. Thank you so much for joining us. It's really good to talk to you. And, um, you know, if, if you, uh, just stop oil, it's a laudable aim. But I think if you could think of a different way of doing it, you might go on. The There's no other way. That's why we're there, doing there, it. There's way. always a different way. There's always a different way. Thank you so much for joining me. Cheers. Thank you for having time. me. Thank you.